Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's Friday, it's cocktail hour, and Cody's got something that I think he got on the internet, right? Yep, I just Googled. So he got something on the internet, and it seems very kind of unique. So I'm I've excited. I've heard of it. It's called Royal Tea. The Royal Tea Cocktail. You okay. Can read off whatever it says, but we could just make it. You could Google it yourself. So if you like cocktails, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and check out all of our other cocktails on Mon our Fridays because we probably have about 70 of them now. We, we got a lot, so. All right, what do we got here? The Royal Tea Cocktail. So we should start off by making the Earl Grey tea that goes with it. Okay, so you got a, a disc of Earl Grey in there and this water is super hot. How much should I do? The I'd do about halfway since we're gonna add ice to chill it. Okay, so. And while that's seeping. Seeping. We're gonna add an ounce and a half of London Dry Gin to a mixing glass. Ounce and a half of London Dry. We're using the Gordons. Mm -hmm. Guess it's the one we want to get rid of. Since we're using a mixing glass, you probably need the spoon, which, as you have over there, I don't see. Nope. Ounce and a half of London Dry. So that's three ounces. Yep. And then it says. One splash of lemon juice or to taste, and then one teaspoon sugar or to taste. Okay. So probably just wait till it's in our glasses and then do to taste. Now I want you all out there to notice that he's got a juice bottle, lemon juice bottle. It's freshly squeezed. And if we achieve our challenge by Halloween, so 30, less than 30 days away, of getting a thousand subs, he will have to use fresh lemon, like a real lemon, like. You know that just increases the overhead, right? It makes these episodes more expensive. Uh huh. And I'll learn how to make garnishes with the lemon. So, okay. You have to raise the price of viewing for the customers. So the Earl's been sweet seeping for a while, starting to get dark. You want some ice in there? Yeah, I'd put some ice. I've learned that I like to splash, and so that's hot water. Yes. I'm gonna probably stir it. Okay. We we want semi warm or cool. We want chilled. But we don't want to thermoshock the glass teapot. Yeah. And we're gonna put ice in the cocktail. Yeah, probably should have just nixed this entirely and just. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna put how much? Uh, put some ice in here. And then the rest in the cup, yes. We probably should have had more ice, but let me learn. Okay. And then it's gonna be two ounces of chilled Earl Grey. So four ounces total? So four ounces total. It's in a tea bag. Yeah, but I don't want the ice chunks there. To melt. A little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. Too much. <laughs> Four ounces, of, or two ounces of tea with the London Dry Gin. Give it a nice swirl. Do you want the strainer top? Nope. Nope. It's supposed to have a little bit more ice anyway, so I just didn't get enough. I made him prep today. I honestly just didn't. There, I just grabbed this. It's cold. Cup. Yeah, it's cold now. And so then let's taste it without any lemon or sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit tart. A little, a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit tart with the gin and the tea. Oh. 
Yeah, a little bit better. Not much. Definitely want some sweetness to it. Ooh, yeah, still tart. <laughs> So when this simple syrup's gone, that's the last of the store-bought simple syrup we'll use, right? We're yeah. gonna start making our own Did again. Did the little one go away? Did you use it? Yeah, I think so. We used to make it, now we're gonna go back to making it. We have never made regular simple syrup. Yeah, we have. Once, and very little. Oh, much better. Yeah, way better. Having fun? thoroughly stirred it was tart it's not my favorite cocktail. tremendously better <laughs> not my favorite cocktail but it's it's much better maybe we should have tried the uh, actual Earl Grey what did we try no like on its own to see if we even like this Earl Grey oh I like Earl Grey I like Earl Grey too but there's differences It may just be the Earl Grey. Yeah, it might be. Low budget Earl Grey. Or maybe it has some extra additives that mm -hmm. taste it. Drink it out of the teapot. Am I a savage? It's a cup. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it could be. Yeah. It's much better once you add the sweetness. I have my tea with either a little bit of milk or um, with a uh, some honey or sugar. No, unless it's it unless it's a lemon or mint tea, then it's straight. But black teas, Earl Grey, stuff like that, I have to add a little sweetness. I like regular black tea. Not bad. Not bad. Tell us what we did wrong if you have this. Um, give it a try. Tell us what you think. I'm thinking fresh lemon would probably be a little bit better. It, it, and it. probably the lemon and sugar already Maybe mixed. Maybe a different gin. Yeah, that's true. Maybe a more Because Gordon is gin. a very just normal, everyday, yeah. um, inexpensive London dry gin. We have much more expensive London dries. And a flavorful Ooh. London dry or gin would be good. Uh, the, uh, the, the elderflower. Yeah, elderflower. Squid ink? No. Uh, that Other would flower. not go well. Even a barrel aged gin might be good. I was thinking about that earlier. I was like, maybe we should do it with this one. But yeah. Then... I don't know. Tell us what. But all in all, not too Tell bad. us what gin you sh think we should try um, in this. Uh, definitely gonna run it by my wife and see what she thinks. She's a much bigger gin cocktail person than I am. So, but tell us what you think. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, it's October. We're getting close to fall. The weather's starting to change. It's getting nicer. Yeah, the highs are in the 80s. Yeah. Still too hot. And I like fall because there's multiple breaks to give me time off from work. And this is... And it's not so damn hot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. Leave some comments below. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and merchandise. And maybe Andy will be with us next week. We'll see. And have a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers.